This is like a prelude to the prelude. We're just gonna have fun. We know the weather's not great. We're gonna do a little bit of this. Probably can't even do it all. Shackles. Just a little bit of it. I don't think we can do the whole thing. We're gonna do shackles, so if you wanna sing a little on just for fun. Alrighty, let's rock this out. Joe, you can start us. of my mind I just can't seem to find a reason to believe that I can break free cause you see I've been down for so long feel like all hope is gone but as I lift my hands I understand that I should praise you through my circumstance take the shackles off my feet so I can dance I just wanna praise you I just wanna praise you you broke the chains, now I can lift my hands And I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you Take the shackles Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance I just wanna praise you I just wanna praise you You broke the chains You broke the chains, now I can lift my hands And I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you Take the shackles Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance I just wanna praise you I just wanna praise you You broke the chains You broke the chains Now I can lift my hands And I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you Come on in and begin our worship with all things possible. This song really gets us fired up, and we want to be fired up for the Lord Christ. Like the light is fading and I've lost my way. Still 
I'm holding on to the one who's made all things possible. Even when it feels like my heart is breaking, hold on, there is strength. Knowing I belong to the one who's made all things possible. My God is strong and mighty. My God is faithful. My hope is in the Lord. to the one who's made all things possible even when it feels like my heart is breaking hold on there is strength knowing i belong to the one who's made all things possible my god is strong and mighty my god is faithful my hope is in the lord for he is a Welcome Connie and the children. Come on down, children, whom I have not seen in so long. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. And everybody sit up high so we can see all your beautiful faces. Oh, and handsome faces too, young sir. Sit up higher, everybody up here. Up here by me, by me. Woohoo! It's summer and guess what? Tomorrow starts October. Can you come sit by me? I'll be quiet if you do. Come on up. Wow. Our Lord is able. Come on. Let's sit together. You can sit on the other side of her if you prefer. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you guys. How are you? Come on up. Can you come sit with me? Oh, that would be so wonderful. <gasps> Thank you. How lovely. Are these not the most precious children? Your church family loves you. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Guess what? They've been studying all month on respect. I bet everybody knows the memory verse because it's pretty short. Can you tell it to me? Show proper respect to all people from 1 Peter 2. Let's say that together. Show proper respect to all people. What does respect mean? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, being nice to other people. Absolutely being nice to other people. Helping other people? Absolutely helping other people. That's right. We respect God, first of all, because God created everything. He created the world. He created you and me. So first of all, we respect him. And when we respect others, you know what? Even if it's our brothers and sisters, we're respecting God because that's what he wants us to do. And it starts in the mind, right? If you think respectful things, you'll speak respectful things. Even you, way over there. God loves you. Did you know that? I know. I can tell from that smile. Okay. Let's say a respectful prayer to God. And one more time now. What's the verse? Show proper respect to all people. Good job. I look forward to being with you guys again. Let's pray. 
God, we thank you for these children that you're teaching to show respect to people in authority, to their parents, and most of all, to the people that live nearest to them. Lord, teach us to respect ourselves because you love us and you want us to respect ourselves and be healthy and do good things for this temple of the Spirit. We love you, Lord. We love our children. Amen. All right, let's go to church. See ya.
as the sinner's cross broke my shame and sinfulness rose again victorious faithfulness none can deny through the storm and through the fire there is truth that sets me free Jesus Christ who lives in come before you this morning, God, and we just proclaim you uh, as sovereign over, over heaven and over earth, God, that you reign over us. God, we come together to celebrate you and to celebrate your word, God, and become better disciples of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you that you have allowed us to breathe in your word, God, as we have worked through Jonah, God, that you have revealed grace to us, God, that you have revealed a path for us. God, that you have freed us from arrogance and selfishness and intolerance. God, that you have set us free. God, let us receive this message this morning. God, let us, let us breathe in your word. Let it just fill our, our souls. God, we ask that we take it and we share that message of freedom and grace and forgiveness with others. In the name of Jesus, 
Amen. the last chapter of Jonah, Jonah 4. (laughs) 
But this was very displeasing to Jonah, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, Oh, my Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarshish in the beginning, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take from my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. And when the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And he said, yes, angry enough to die. The Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that great city in which there are more than 120,000 people who do not know their right hand from their left? and also all those animals. Word of God speak would you pour down like rain Washing my eyes to see Your majesty To be still and know That you're in this place Please let me stay and rest In your holiness Word of God Word of God speak Word of God speak 